Hi, welcome to Excessive Game. I'm Excessive Brutality. Thanks for joining me on part one of my Let's Play for Blizzard Entertainment's Overwatch. Now, there's a lot of hype about this game. It's been out for a while. I haven't had a go yet. Um, I'm a complete and utter noob at this game, and I am not particularly good at FPSs. Maybe this one might be... Well, you never know. I might be better at this one than I am generally at any other FPS. But, I want to give it a go. Everybody seems very excited about it. It is a Blizzard game. When it's a Blizzard game, you give it a chance. So, as I've never played this before, I'm going to hit the training first. So, uh, join me for the training. Let's just go and do uh, learn the basics of Overwatch. So, this is going to be a short video on the tutorial section of Overwatch. Hope you like it. And if you don't like it, hope you watch anyway. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Let's see what this is got. Hello, Soldier 76. I am Athena. How are you doing, Athena? I will be guiding you through the Overwatch training program. Thank you very much. Now, where is she? Wait for me! Whoa, English accent. Tracer. Tracer here. Let's get started. Please use your controls to look at Tracer as she moves around the room. Over here! Excellent. Now watch Tracer run to the center of the room. Here I am! Let's go over the basics of movement. You can move forwards and backwards in the direction you're looking. You can also move left and right. Give it a try. You know what? I can see why these instructions might help for PC gamers, maybe, but uh, for consoles, I mean, we're talking thumbstick here, aren't we? Try so. Backwards. It's useful if you need to retreat. I did. I did. I did. Follow Tracer as she moves around the hangar. Continue following Tracer. Keep following Tracer. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Why are you Bye. doing? Yeah. To the highlighted area. Fire some weapon edge. That's what I like. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Let me walk you through the basics of combat. Well, like that. Your portrait is displayed in the lower left corner of your screen. Beautiful, beautiful mug, beautiful That's mug. You, Lovely. Next to it is your current health. If it reaches zero, you die. <gasps> your primary weapon is your heavy pulse rifle. Okay. I'll get you something to shoot at. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Move them over the training bot, then fire. Oh. Nicely done. You can also strike a target near you with a melee attack. And the melee may be a little harder to hit than that one. Let me get you something a little more challenging to shoot at. Enemies like these training bots are marked with a red outline. Damaging an enemy causes their current heart to display above their head. Nice shooting. Most weapons fire a limited amount of ammo before they need to be reloaded. Your current ammo is displayed here. Wait a minute. The bottom right of the screen. Sensitivity if you problems. Run out of ammo, you will automatically reload, mm. or you can manually reload at any time. Aim assist. Wait a minute. Seriously? I've got horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity. Oh man. Why? Why complicate things so much? I just want one overall Destroy sensitivity. Let's see if that's going to be better for me. Abilities. With sprint. Please go to the highlighted area. While moving forward, you can activate sprint to run faster. Try it now. You cannot fire your weapon while sprinting. In addition to sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with biotic field. 
To demonstrate it, I need to damage you slightly. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh... deploy a field. You will heal while you're within the glowing area. Note that you will have to wait a short time before using that ability again. This okay. cooldown time is displayed over the ability icon. Completely, you can launch a volley of rockets in the direction you're aiming. When the rockets explode, they also damage nearby enemies. Try it out on the targets. Fire your helix rockets at the targets. Finally, let me explain Tactical Visor, your ultimate ability. Mm -hmm. These powerful abilities can change the course of a game. But you must fully charge it before using it. Your current charge level is displayed here, at the bottom of your screen. Charge your tactical visor by damaging the training bots. Feeling damage will charge your ultimate. Your ultimate is 50% charged. Is almost fully charged. The tactical visor is charged. The tactical visor optimizes your shots so they do not miss. Now activate your tactical visor and destroy the training bots. I've got you in my sights. All targets destroyed. Nice work, Soldier 76. Awesome. For the final phase of the training program, I'll show you how to capture an objective. Okay. Your current objective is indicated with the directional marker labeled A. Head through the open door. The objective is marked with a bright outline on the ground. To while you are within the area, you make progress towards capturing the objective. Your current progress is displayed here on your screen. If there are enemies in the area with you, Capture progress is paused. You have successfully captured the objective. You can now try a practice game versus AI, replay the tutorial, or face off against other players. All right. That was interesting. I like that. Let's see training practice range, okay? Try that. Actually, it's pretty. Um, I can find where I can. I can see that this might uh, actually be quite uh, addictive. Blizzard, get it right once again. Welcome to the practice range, Soldier Seventy Six. This is a place where you can experiment with your weapons and abilities. In the practice range, you can change your hero here. On other maps, you can... Let's try switching to a different... When you have a hero selected, you can view details about them by pressing the information button. Alright, let's see what we got. Gen G. When you are ready, please close this window to continue. Check and play. Now confirm your selection to switch to the selected hero. Pharah. Reaper. But I like the look of Reaper. Once Should, you have choose Reaper. Hero, you can view their information at any time. Feel free to explore the practice range. I encourage you to come back here anytime you want to experiment with different heroes or try out your skills. Yeah! When you are finished, you can leave the practice range at any time. I actually prefer that guy. We're all soldiers now. All right.
All right, let's leave this and let's do the practice versus AI training. So what is this hero gallery? Can I just use that guy I just used now? All right. Yeah, I just use that guy. Whatever. I don't care about all that. Let's just go for it. I've still got it. All right. Here we go. Helios. Check it out. Wow. Looks a bit like Malta. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Not dead yet. Get here. All right, I'm enjoying this. It's pretty cool, super addictive.
No one can hide from my sight. Yeah! First game. Not bad. Let's see where I uh, where I ended up. Play of the game. Die, die, die. Awesome. I got belts best kill streak. Epic. Awesome. Not bad. All right. All right, guys. Well, for my uh, first, for my first go at Overwatch, I really enjoyed that. So, um, hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, I'm pretty sure I was playing against AI players, but then again, they didn't look like AI players. I was supposed to be playing against AI, but it did put me into a uh, an online game. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, I am a noob, so I didn't do do too bad. A 14 kill streak, which is uh, I don't know how easy it is in Overwatch, but that for my first game. So I'm still quite proud of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I will be recording my Overwatch. Um, so hope you join me too. Thank you very much. <laughs>